So today I thought I would show you some of the crown jewels of my loose vintage Star Wars collection. Um, basically it's a bunch of Luke Bespins and Luke Jedis all packed away in this plastic crate along with some Top Gun models you see there. But here we're concerned with these little plastic figures. We'll go through them one by one. Here is a No Country of Origin Luke Bespin. Brown hair variation. It's got the raised bar on the leg, but there's No Country of Origin stamped on it. We have a Palatoy or Trilogo Luke Bespin with the olive colored hair. It's also um, no country of origin. You, could, you also can refer to this figure as having mustard color hair. I've seen that before. We have a classic yellow hair Luke Bespin, Sculpt 1 variation. I saw this on eBay for a decent price. Hong Kong, country of origin. I would say most of these figures I've acquired off of eBay in the past 10 years or so of collecting. We also have a very mint Darth Vader with an intact lightsaber. Good looking paint on the chest plate controls. Here is a, another brown hair Luke Bespin with, he's got really pink colored hands. got this figure in a lot that I won on eBay. We have um, another yellow hair Luke Bespin, but this is a Sculpt 2 figure with a lightsaber hilt uh, not attached to the belt you can see there. There's a little gap between the belt and the saber. But it's got pretty good paint on the hair. See, is it a Hong Kong version? Yeah, Hong Kong. Got a couple Luke Jedi's in here. This is a Luke Jedi molded face snap cape variation with a green lightsaber. I was talking with a YouTuber about does this molded face variant ever come with a blue lightsaber? And I've seen them loose uh, like that, but I've never seen one on the card with a blue lightsaber. The molded face variant, that is. Here's an orange hair Luke Bespin Sculpt 2 version, also referred to as pumpkin hair, because it's kind of a light orange color. Pretty rare figure and very hard to find without any paint rubs on the hair because the paint quality on the hair is kind of transparent so it often rubs very easily. But this is a nice looking example. There's Indiana Jones in there. Here is a Luke Endor Battle Poncho figure with the collector's coin. Part of the last 17 release of figures. 
comes on Power of the Force cards and I think Tri Logo cards. I just have him on a Power of the Force card though. I've shown that on my channel before. Let's see, we have a Luke, uh, no, a Luke Jedi. Another Luke Jedi molded face variation. I see these on eBay for a good price and I just can't pass them up. So I end up with some duplicates. I do intend to get them graded and then sell them off to finance new acquisitions, but um, I'm still working on getting them graded right now. I started an account with CAS and um, just working on an order. It takes a while to work through all the uh, choices you have. Here's a um, pink flesh face Luke Jedi with a blue lightsaber. The fa face paint is a little bit more pink on those that came with the blue lightsabers. And I think it's a Hong Kong variation. Or is it Taiwan? It's hard to make out there. Hong Kong. They also usually came with more of a fuzzy cape, those um, blue saber. Here is a Luke Bespin ginger hair, or, or also referred to as ochre hair, sculpt one. It's one of my personal favorites as far as the Luke Bespin variants. I believe it's a Hong Kong country of origin. We have a vintage Indiana Jones figure. Complete and in mint condition. The um, I know it wasn't used because the uh, bullwhip is still taped together from the package. Made in Hong Kong. You can see the tape there on the bullwhip. Here is a Luke Farm Boy with brown hair. It's got a very thin lightsaber tip. I believe this came off of an Empire Strikes Back card. I've never seen one with this shade of brown on Return of the Jedi cards. Usually they're mustard hair color on Return of the Jedi. Hong Kong variation or country of origin. We have a Luke Lemon Yellow variation. Hair colors, Lemon Yellow. Also Hong Kong, country of origin. a loose Luke farm boy with uh, olive hair or a mustard hair color. Again, I believe this is either a Palatoy or um, Tri Logo release of the figure. I've actually seen, and I've seen them on Return of the Jedi cards, American cards as well, but they're, they're pretty rare. I have one on a Tri-Logo card with this shade of 
olive colored hair. That's on my channel if you want to watch that. Got a baggy Darth Vader. Made in Hong Kong. There's another Luke Bestman in there. Oh, there's also a Boba Fett in there. I believe this is a Hong Kong Boba Fett. Some nice, nice colors on Boba Fett. I always thought his color scheme was pretty, pretty tight, pretty cool. Hong Kong variation. Or country of origin. I guess country of origin is not really a variation. Stoutless booklet. There's a C3PO in a baggie in there as well. Here's another ginger hair Luke Bespin. that I intend to have graded in this next batch. All right, it's not my next batch, it's my first batch that I'm sending off. I, I do buy graded things, but uh, um, up until now I haven't sent off things to get graded. But it's kind of my New Year's resolution is to get some of these items graded. Pack them back up. So I hope to send some of these off to be graded here at the first of the year and show them to you when I get them back. In the meantime, check out my other Vintage Star Wars videos and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.